The view here is as good, if not better, than you would expect. To be able to see the bend in the river with the castle as the pinnacle, beautiful. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. If you've been following our journey, we've recently drove to Berg Elts, the famous and ridiculously stunning castle nestled in the hills above the Mosel River. If there is one castle in Germany that can rival that iconic Neuschwanstein castle, it's Berg Elts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Luckily, and to our surprise, we ended up experiencing the entire castle all to ourselves. From there, we realized we were only a short 30 minutes drive to Koham. And truly, there may not be a lovelier scene in Germany than this town. Pressed against the mausel by the soaring valley walls, we explored its charming old city and walked up to its crown and glory, the Koham Castle. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to our channel. It means a lot to us that you're here watching our video, and today you're in for a treat. Willa and I are going to be exploring the city of Koham. And not only that, but we're going to be making our way to its famous famous castle. This place is such a landmark, you guys. If you see pictures, you're going to be blown away. It's beautiful. Well, not having to go far, we quickly found what looks like a boat cruise along the river, which would be super fun to do. Will and I won't be doing that this time, but during the summertime, that's a sure thing that we would love to do. Will, it, how come you won't put your coat on? Do you want to put your coat on? No. Nope. Are you showing them your gloves? But as you can see along this beautiful walkway along the river, here is the view of the castle incredible there's a beautiful river walk and you can have views of the bridge the boat the castle and the main city area it looks like it's pretty unique in this fact that it's right along the river so that's cool we're going to be exploring those streets and then head up to the castle after what are those ducks, ducks. So after walking along the river for a while, I crossed the street, walked about a block, and came to this square, which is beautiful. The buildings here are really colorful and have a lot of fun designs on them. There's also a really cool tower down there that I'll definitely show you guys. We're gonna try and find a place to eat here. I'm hungry. We came across an Asian restaurant, so that's what we're choosing for lunch. It's been a while since we've had Asian food and living where we are. You don't come by it often, so we're gonna choose it. Hopefully it's good. We got the goods. We have about 10 minutes to spare before we have to leave our parking spot. We paid for an hour and go see the castle. Will is eating right here. This camera is connected to the stroller, so bon appetit. Noodles! She's pretty happy. Less. Okay. <laughs> we made it to the base of the castle. We honestly could have walked up here from the city. It's not that far of a walk. I just didn't know what the parking situation was and I assumed that there was a parking spot. Turns out there's really not. So I would say park down in the city, walk up. We ended up parking a bit closer, but not like crazy closer. So anyways, there's a tip if you come. Park in the city, explore the city, then walk up. Just plan to pay for your parking spot for a couple more hours. First impressions, super cool. One major thing I've noticed is that that tower, the middle tower, has a drawing on it, a painting, something of the sort. It has a guy leaning against a pole with a kid on his shoulder. So I don't know the story behind that, 
but pretty interesting. The views from up here, I'm not even all the way to the top, but they're breathtaking. You can already see the river and the bridge. And during the on season, it looks like there's a lift up there. And then at the top of the mountain, there's like a slide. It almost looks like a roller coaster. So pretty cool. What do you think of that view? Wow. The view here is as good, if not better than you would expect. To be able to see the bend in the river with the castle as the pinnacle, beautiful. Also, I don't know how, but we're getting lucky again where there is only one other couple here right now currently as I talk. And not only that, it closes at three and we arrived here at 2 p.m. So. We're doing pretty good today. Not gonna lie, Willa and I out on an adventure, I guess is some good luck. Castle! <gasps> behind you! Hi, the castle's behind you. And that, my friends, is where the luck ended. We were gonna try and do a tour, but it turns out there's just a lot of steps up there. So we could have left the stroller, but there's just so much you can do with a two-year-old that's worth it. We're tired, we've had a great day. We're gonna leave on a high, so we're calling it quits here at the castle, but hands on worth it to make that adjustment on our travels home. Such a fun surprise and twist to the day. I love when you don't have expectations and then you get really surprised in a positive way. Actually thinking about it, this location is a special one for us because we had this on our top 15 bucket list of places we wanted to see in Germany. We made a video of that shortly after we moved to Germany, so it's fun to be able to cross that one off and to witness these views. Tanner is gonna be jealous, that's for sure. He's probably gonna wanna come back here in the summertime when it's in full bloom. I know I do. Hello, thanks for being my traveling partner. I love you. Are you happy? Well, she's dancing, so that's good. We're gonna end on a high note. Like I said, thanks for being here, you guys. Catch you on the next video. <laughs> Don't say cheers. <laughs> and yes, she successfully went throughout the whole day without a coat on. Good thing it is much warmer here than it is where we live in Bavaria. Are you cold? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> We're talking about your coat, silly. I'm talking about your coat. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five little monkeys. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called. And what did the doctor say? No, no, monkeys.